Over. I mean, this is what we were waiting for today. So. <laughs> yeah! Yusuke, you're pretty good. Dude, you too. Is this really your first time snowboarding? Just got to keep your balance, right? Whoa! <laughs> Listen to that music, all right? That is the most Persona 3 shit ever. Yeah. You gotta open up your stance. Do you get it? Come on. It's, it's easier said than... Huh? Whoa! Damn, that hurt. My guy. You are a lucky man. Oh, there's gonna be sorry about that. You owe me a date. You won't win. Okay, Jack Frost. That close from saying he ho. Jeez, you too. Hey, that was fun. Whew. We've been down this slope a bunch of times now. Hey, what do you think of my snowboarding skills? I bet you're head over heels with them. Well, yeah, but only because we were falling down all the time. Teddy kept crashing into me. Yep. It's not fair that Kanji gets to keep skiing with Nao-chan. I'm completely against one-on-one -on -one personal lessons. Hey, 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 hey. They're in love. Leave them alone. Let them you enjoy. You were doing you. it on purpose, you bastard! You guys are completely ignoring my lines, huh? So this was your first time skiing, Nao-chan? How was it? I can barely even stand upright. Kanji-kun is teaching me, but it's not going as I'd hoped. I keep going in the wrong direction or falling over without warning. I hope I do a little better tomorrow. You don't look it, but you really don't like losing, do you? Should we go up one more time? What? I'm too tired. My legs are giving out on me. My fur's all frozen, too. I feel like Frosty the Snow Bear. <laughs> We've got tomorrow too, so let's call it a day. Aren't you hungry, Chie? I didn't even notice it until now. I'm super hungry! What are we having for dinner at the lodge? I think soul cooked in non-regional style. What? That non-regional part caught my attention. So, it's a non-style style? What is that supposed to taste like? I think you would only it's call so it something like that I'm if you weren't all that gonna... confident about your food. I doubt the chefs would appreciate hearing that from you guys. That's so mean. I remember you yelling about how delicious that cake we made was. I wasn't yelling. And that cake was only good because Naoto helped you. Like I said. That's not true. It was thanks to the cookbook. I don't care which it was. And you guys should have been using a cookbook in the first place. Thank you. There's something more important at hand right now. I mean, I don't know what it has anything to do with this. Soul is a fish, right? What about some real meat? Meat! Oh, I mean, we need, there's at least three of us here. No, four of us if you can't tell you that we use meat, but uh, I don't think it's the kind that you can cook. How much of a dead. carnivore are you? I don't think I saw any real meat dishes on the menu. No beef? Or pork? Or even chicken? She's got a point. And considering how much we've been skiing, I could use something with a lot of protein. This is exactly why, you know, she gets kind of picked on in Persona 4 Arena all times. Meat.
Has the day finally come that you all want a little taste of Teddy? Not in the way you think, buddy. No, we'd never do that. Bear meat is pretty gamey after all. You're so cruel, Yuki-chan! Is Teddy still in the bathhouse? We saw these college girls while we were having dinner. He said he was gonna hold out in the bath until they showed up. Sheesh, what's he up to now? You say that, but I bet you wish you were there with him right now, don't you? Mm-hmm. What? That's the worst. Wouldn't you rather spend time with us? I mean, me rather than people like that, senpai? Oh, yeah. Dude, how awesome is it that we all get to stay overnight like this? And it's co-ed! So, why don't we... No. But I didn't suggest anything yet! Sorry, yet were you gonna say play cards? Why don't we go night skiing? I've always been impressed by people who can do that. Then we'd have to take another bath afterwards. Honestly, I'm already exhausted from snowboarding all day. Then why don't we do what people usually do when they get together at night? Tell ghost stories. I don't know. Isn't that usually a summer thing? Yeah, um, I think I'll have to disagree too. Huh? Could it be that you're actually scared of ghost stories? Stuff like in those stories actually happens in the mountains. That one time during shooting was enough for me. Hey, you know we might run into a white wolf or the night skate. What? Stop it! Or even the night skate. Red was on the card. Oh, our inn has a lot of spooky stuff too. Once, we asked a customer how he liked his room, and he said the restroom was too dark. But his room didn't have one. And sometimes, when you take pictures in that room during Obon, they don't come out right. Oh, that's pretty creepy. Oh, and I heard that Haniwa are occasionally found in the mountains around here. They say this entire area could have been a grave site long ago. Oh, boy. Folklore has little valid scientific evidence, but is a result of cultural significance and strong story elements. Any ancient burial ground is likely just the site of a t t temple. So, um... You're scared too? Yes. This is starting to get pretty good. How are you in scary stories? Oh. oh, so you got any special stories of your own up your sleeve? Oh, no, but I'm sure Junji Ito got a few for you. I can't believe you guys! I have no part of this! I'm plugging my ears! I'm gonna say this right now, folks. Uh, if you have a chance, if you have Max, go ahead. Watch the Junji Ito uh, Maki episode. Now, I will say this, the animation flow is buns. I agree with my best friend on that one. Um, the only time it's like it really stands out is when you see the horror stuff actually manifest itself. But when the horrific stuff isn't happening, it's kind of like meh. Like, like, can, it's like, I want to say it's right down there. With Berserk 2016. <laughs> like, why couldn't they give the adaptation to the same team that did Tales of the Macabre by Junji Ito? They did an excellent job depicting all the stuff. And they did it in color. Max, the, uh, Warner Bros., they decided to do the full adaptation. and But the problem is that, like, when the horrific stuff was happening, it looked great. But once you got away from it, it looked whack. And then not only that, they didn't keep it to like just one studio. So they went to like what, four different studios to do it. It's like, I get it. They want to give other studios a chance to shine, but we all know the first episode was the only good, only congruent one. 
But if you look at it as a whole, it's that mm, no, they all have the same problem. The non-horror stuff was just people walking around, the animation's 3D and it's so slow, it doesn't really have any real sense of human flow. But as soon as the horrific stuff happens, oh, it's juicy. Like, like the pictures are good. Not only really that, the stories themselves are horrific. I mean, after watching episode three, I was like, you know what? I don't dare knock someone up ever again. I dare not. Do you think I'm going wrong? Though. Like, if you're the type of person that played Russian roulette, you will never play Russian roulette again. Because you, the first thing you'll think of is if a woman gets pregnant, they might become bloodthirsty. I want to stab you and suck all your blood. And then let's say that doesn't happen. And they give birth to the kid. Remember Bloodborne? Video game? The Olden Winter Lanterns? Or even the, the Winter Lantern in the, in the Abyssal Forest from Shadow of the Earth Tree from Elden Ring? Oh yeah, the babies are born, then they have these Winter Lantern looking mushrooms growing out of their stomach. All because they want to go back inside their mother's womb. So when they don't have it their way, they start lunging at people with spring-like feet. To you alive yeah that's some horror right there you will be so pro-choice it ain't even funny and that's my only political statement throughout the entirety of my place with the for golden moving on would it be scarier to only hear bits and pieces of stories like that shut up moranji why are you pushing so hard for us to tell ghost stories you stop calling me that damn it well, I'll start off then. Yukiko can go last. Her stories are off the charts creepy. Oh, well, of course. Look at where she works. Let's see. It was over three years ago. A friend of mine in middle school told me this. It seems his sister went to a pretty prestigious private school, but she ended up running with the wrong crowd. Mm -hmm. Supposedly, she and a bunch of other girls were bullying another girl in their class. He said that she'd come home every night and laugh over the phone with her friends about the kid they were harassing. One day, she suddenly came home with a pale face. Ever since then, she started locking herself up in her room. No matter how much he asked what was going on, she'd completely ignore him. But he could hear her mumbling. She'd keep saying to herself, It's my turn next. My friend got worried, so he went to ask his sister's friends what was going on. But it turns out, all her friends had passed out for mysterious reasons and had been taken to the hospital. He was so scared that he didn't know what to do. That night, at around 11.30, suddenly his sister started screaming in her room. He ran into her room, and she was covering her ears and repeating, She's calling me! I can hear her! But my friend couldn't hear anything. And soon, his sister rushed out of the house. The next morning, she was found unconscious outside the school gates, just like her friends had been. In the end, she was taken to the hospital and recovered. But when he asked the people at school what happened, it seems the girl they were bullying was dead. They said that the girl must have become a spirit that haunted them one by one. You know who tells horror stories in a Persona game way better than Yosuke right now? Junpei, Persona 3. Let me tell you, in the, in the Persona 3 movies, it's hilarious. Persona 3 Portable, it's like classic, it's like meh. But, Reload, I will show ya. Closer to the movie adaptation. It's impossible. Your story is full of inconsistencies. Wait, but I think I've actually read a police report like that. That's not denying it. You're supporting it. <laughs> Wait, did she die? I think she turned up okay. <laughs> he can't well, that doesn't matter. That wasn't bad for a leadoff, right? <laughs> oh, yo, ski. Well, you're next. What do you have yo, in mind? That, that's what you call, ladies and gentlemen, that's what you call winging it, man, for real. Like, he winged it so bad, he didn't even know how to put his story together. Alright, well. 
I'm gonna trip one night just like this. You're gonna do this to us too? That's on the story, you know. It sounds realistic when you tell it. So? So? And then? Come on, this isn't a ghost story anymore, is it? It's just a story about someone being kidnapped. Who says it isn't gonna be scary, though? They want it scary. What was that? I heard something. I heard something just now. That was unusual. It, it's just our imaginations. Anyway, keep going. Might be you can't fair. just end it here. That'd be even scarier. Creepy man. Whoa, that's freaky. Something about a nose that long? Ah! Uh, uh, blackout? Oh shit! Something just went past me! I told you I didn't want to do this! Why didn't you listen to me? Someone get the lights on! I can't take this anymore! Oh. Uh, hang on! Where's the switch? Damn it, Teddy! How you so dare you to think you're eating all the snacks while I'm gone? I'm gonna curse you! Get him? Yeah, let's finish him off. That sounds very wrong, we say. And that sounds like something Teddy would get a kick out of. I'm just saying. I'm sorry, Teddy. Only people have human rights. Well, babes, what's come over you? Why are you so mad at me? You're trying to eat all the snacks. Skip this shit out of them. So it was Teddy. Damn it, he freaked us all out. And and what happened after that? That goes on. <sighs> We're getting there. Getting close to the conclusion. Um. All right, time to hit the snow. Someone's full of energy. You guys were up talking all last night too. How do you know about that? Don't tell me. It's no surprise that they heard you, considering how loud you were. I told you over and over the walls were thin. Yep, thinner than the apartment walls in Brooklyn. Uh, oh, so that's all. I thought he might have been peeping. We were talking about some pretty risque stuff in there. Sorry, Kanji. Did you get a nosebleed all over your pillow? <laughs> Shut up. Who want to listen to you hens clucking all night anyway? Yo, he just called you a bunch of chickens. I think <laughs> I would. Just a little. Oh my god, yes. Man. I may have done a little listening. Yes, you I heard things about Nao Chan's size and Yuki Chan's shape. Stop lying, Ted! We didn't talk about anything like that! Exactly. We're doing all sorts of things, You just need to burn right now. Wait, what about my shape? Have I changed somehow? You're letting him get to you. You're being manipulated. See? Not the nose. She's Jeez, smart. forget about it. Let's just enjoy our day skiing. Let's go, senpai! Hold it right there! R Risei-san, don't you think you're being a little too... You know, you've been hogging the same ski partner way too much? Yes. Huh? But it works out so nicely. Yeah, for you. You and Yosuke Senpai are both on snowboards. Teddy and Yukiko Senpai keep taking the steep slopes and won't slow down for me. And Kanji seems to want to be with Naoto kun. Well, obviously. Hey, what reason. are you getting at? Oh, look at him blushing. So, it's only natural that I'd pair up with Senpai yesterday. He and I will take it slow. You don't have to worry about me. Come on, Senpai. Let's go. Our logic is 100% ironclad. Showbiz people have amazing ways of persuading people. No. I want to hang on my booth and cheer. Why are you impressed? 
Yeah, but they're <clears throat> The, the reason we're on this trip is for all of us to make some good memories of spending time with Senpai. Yeah. In other words, we should all be trying to have some skiing time with him. Mm -hmm. See, she's smart. Crap, you're right. You're right! I want to make memories with Senpai too! Sometimes when you say things, I wonder if you have some hidden agenda behind them. I swear to God, Yosuke, man, real, man. Homophobias. Then I'm not snowboarding today. I'm switching to skis. Oh. Hey, that's no fair. I want to leave my ski tracks of love with Sensei too. Um, hey! Why don't we let Senpai decide for himself? Be honest and just make Fine. the call. Fine. Uh. Whoa, wait a sec, everyone. I don't like where this is headed. Some of you sound like you're out for blood. Let's all enjoy the slopes together, okay? Th that would be best. Yeah, exactly. I concur. <laughs> oh my god, Flash, that looks funny. <sighs> Thanks for not answering before I could get that under control. Uh, hmm, us. Ah, damn it! Damn it! I shouldn't have spoken up for you! Hey, that's your Am problem. I jealous? Of course I am, damn it! There you go. <sighs> well, let's go enjoy the slopes. Right, come on. That's... <laughs> the poor girl, man. She, she got knocked knees like, like Tommy Pickles, man. I didn't the... think there was anything you weren't good at, Naoto kun. <laughs> How's it going? Do you think you're ready to start going for real? No, not at all. Oh, Quit freaking out about it. Open up your legs and point your toes in, or else you're gonna speed up. That sounded very inappropriate, Kanji. <laughs> Come on, keep your That's balance fine. with your knees. But, but if I stand with my feet further apart, I'll fall down for sure. Like I keep saying, you'll be fine. Even if you do slide down, I'll catch you. You're so nice, yeah. Kanji. Yeah. You never said anything like that to me. That's because you know you're the equivalent of someone that deserves to have a pro bar to wrench you out of people's faces. I already know how to ski. I don't have to teach you. Yep. Well, if I ever do need someone to teach me, I definitely want someone nice like Senpai to do it. Right, Senpai? Meanwhile, You're doing that today too? Yukiko. It's more like falling than skiing. No, they're doing amazing. Maybe they That's just like don't Sonic know how to stop. Well, they ain't dead yet, so I guess they can stop somehow. <laughs> ah, it's Chie Senpai and Yosuke Senpai. Yoo-hoo! Nice. That's interesting. Those two are looking good. I'm so jealous that they can snowboard. People who are good at it can look so cool. But I'm definitely more into skiing with you right now, Senpai. I feel bad that we're in other people's way, so shall we get going? Please, wait! Can you stay with me until I reach the bottom? I have no idea which way I'll end up going. Okay, last one there's a rotten egg. See you at the bottom. Wait, weren't you listening? I can't turn or stop. Don't worry, someone's going to be there to catch you. Right, Kanji? Yes. Huh? That's what... Um, right! <laughs> hey. I'll catch now, though. Okay. Uh, um... Well, then, I'll be counting on you. Jeez, you're too nervous now, Tokun. You just need to ski straight. Real steady. What the hell's he doing now? He's not Belly even wearing pop. skis! Yo, he just slammed that. I, love I think I'm going to walk. Oh, I put it this way Teddy's the persona equivalent of Sister Mary Patrick from Sister. Hmm. Gonna go with you. My girl. 
finally. The moment I've been waiting. Phew! That was fun! Man, we've been up and down this thing all day. This is my first time snowboarding, but I'm really liking this. I'm glad you can ski well. It'd be no fun if I had to worry about slowing down for you. Eh, uh, you know. I usually don't like snow because it makes walking to school take even longer, but playing in it gets me all excited! <sighs> but that's gonna come to an end soon. Oh, my brain's doing everything it can to avoid thinking about that stuff. Still, I had a lot of fun this winter, since I was able to come here with you. Let's make sure we come back again. Yeah, I agree. Just the two of us, huh? Then we should do more than go skiing. I want to go all over the place with you. I'm getting hungry and I miss meat. So let's start heading back. I got you beat right here, baby. Which way are we supposed to go to get back to the lodge? Hmm. Good question. Wait, seriously, which side was it? I think it's left. You don't sound too sure. But we should at least get going. It's starting to snow pretty hard. Yeah, we were about to go snowing. Take as long at all. Yeah, left, dude. Yeah, left, dude. Oh, damn. I wonder where we are. Hey, where are we going? That's a good question. No good in my mouth when I yelled. Hey, do you think could we be lost? Crap, I don't have much feeling left in my hands. What are we gonna do? Let's do the snow hut. Let's do that. Okay, gotcha. Snow hut. Uh, uh, how do you make the roof? Oh, I'm with the wind blowing this much. Uh huh. Were, were you joking? Sorry that I killed that joke. It's all right. There's something over right there. there. Isn't there. that a cottage? Yes. Oh, we might be able to take shelter there. It'll be better than wandering around in the snow. Let's hurry. Yeah, let's get in there. Quickly. As quick as you possibly can. Excuse me! Please let us in! Oh, hey! Ooh. Boy, does it look creepy. Kind of careless of them not to lock the door. Well, it's not like there's anything here to steal anyway. In any case, it's a good thing we found this place. Who knows what would have happened if we'd been stuck out there. Cold? <laughs> I'm fine. It's much better now that we're out of the snow. Um, hey, do you have your phone? I actually forgot mine in the lodge. Yep. Oh, no service. Mm, how convenient. I had a feeling that would happen. Hell, even if we were able to call someone, they might not be able to find this place in the blizzard. If this keeps up, are we going to be trapped here all night? We'll be spending the night together? I know. I saw a movie recently about some people who got lost in the mountains. Uh, maybe it'll be useful. If I remember right, the characters took off their clothes to help them warm each other. Uh, take off our clothes? Ah, what am I saying? You know what? Never mind. That movie was stupid. I think they all died at the end. But still, we do need to warm up somehow. Hey, isn't this a sunken hearth? We can start a fire here! Is there something to burn? Let's look around. If... Is 
Oh, it's so warm. I finally feel like we're gonna be okay now. I don't know what I would have done if we'd been stuck in the cold all night. Hey, instead of having the fire between us, it would be warmer if if we were closer, right? Yes. <laughs> I wonder where we are. Will we be able to make it back safely? <sighs> Sorry, that was pessimistic of me. But I feel a little bit excited. This is kind of like when me, you, and Yosuke fell into the TV for the first time. When I'm with you, I somehow feel like things will be alright. Oh, um, well, I... <laughs> That wasn't lightning, was it? Wait... Did that thing come on just now? Why? Let's check it out. Right! Huh? Hey, hey! I don't think this is the place for that! Seriously, we should wait until we get home. It's just not safe. Doing. I won't allow it! Stop! Don't throw away your friendship in a moment of passion! Hey, it's not your business. Yosuke? Everyone else too! They're still dressed. Huh? <laughs> How did they take off their clothes in this freezing weather? Oh, God. And dude, why are you guys so flustered? What is up with you guys? We can't hold them yet. Yeah, what's up with you guys? D do I really have to spell it out for you? Unfortunately not, though. Yeah. Wait, what? What are you talking about? They're talking about what we were talking about. Don't tell me! Were you waiting for an audience? What daring lovers! No, Teddy. No. <laughs> How shameless! But okay, I'll take a front row seat and. I mean, you're the shameless one! Wait! Were you guys listening outside? No, I mean, not on purpose. It would have been awkward to interrupt before, but. Then you were listening! For your information, it was a matter of life and death! Hey, we came because we were worried about you. Whatever. What were the two of you doing shoving each other around in here? The TV came on! It isn't plugged in. Exactly. No, I'm That's serious! So You're totally misunderstanding what was going on here! The odd thing is, it's daytime. It's not even nighttime. Huh. So, you got lost, found this building, and then things started heating up? I can't believe this! We were so worried, and here you are sneaking behind our backs! So? Not your business, Yosuke. You still don't get it! Look, even if the TV isn't plugged in, it suddenly turned on by itself! That's why we were checking it out! We wouldn't risk our lives way out here in the middle of nowhere just on a whim! Middle of nowhere? This is right behind our lodge. It's some kind of storage shed. I think they keep it unlocked because the workers need to come in and out all the time. Oh, imagine if we were getting funky and the workers walking. Oh, it's not like there's a blizzard or anything. And why would the TV turn itself on? That whole case is over. I bet one of you sat on the remote, then you started freaking out. We're not lying. Fine. I'll check it out myself then. Hey, wait a sec. Oh, 
ਵੀ ਹੋ ਗਿਆ ਸਕਦੇ ਨਾ So it is it's the place that got Logan Paul perma banned by Japan. It seems. So I feel like we're in like winter version of that suicide forest. My Margarita. Alright. Alright. Excuse me. Please forgive the slightly impolite invitation. Wow. She's beautiful. Now's not the time for gawking. I think she's the one who grabbed me. Who is she? You know her? A friend of sorts. F friend? What type of friend is she? You got one mysterious life. Forgive me for not introducing myself sooner. We meet for the first time. My name is Margaret. I am a helper on this young man's journey. I meant you no harm. Um, well, can we trust her? Yes. Of course. Uh, I see. Do you remember? I have come to fulfill my promise. About me? Yes, I have come to guide you. I apologize for the amount of time it required me to prepare. This is the Hollow Forest, the closed realm created by her in the TV world, the world of the human mind. It would mm. seem that after Marie left us, she shut herself in here. Oh, wow. I do not know everything, but as you know, she was searching for her memory, and by opening her heart to you, she finally regained that memory. It would seem that what she found was not what she had been hoping for. Whoa, hold on. What is this all about? Marie? You mean Marie-chan? The one who was with you? Yep. I remember her! That fashionable girl with the hat, right? What do you mean she's here? And what was that about her memory? Yeah, this explains. I also mentioned that she's scared of this. Emi-chan has amnesia? We are inside the TV right now, correct? A missing person ending up in the TV. Don't tell me. I mean, we put an end to all that. I do not think this is the same situation. I believe Marie's disappearance is unrelated to the kidnapping incident you all were following. She was not taken away by someone. Rather, she came here of her own volition. She willingly came here. Does that mean Marie-san has the persona ability as well? Oh, if only. It would have been great No, Marie is originally a resident of this side. What kind of girl were you showing around town? One that's probably related to Teddy. Hold on. This is inside the TV, right? Then, aren't there shadows in here? Yep. You're kidding me. That means... He's right. If she were to be attacked by shadows... I will not say that she is not in danger. However, the same goes for you. If you are to proceed ahead in search for Marie, you must have adequate resolution. That way you The path ahead will be relentless. You alone will not be able to reach her. If you wish to see her again, then it is my role to help you. And to do so, I decided to invite everyone who has accompanied you on your journey here. Good. I see. 
I was wondering why you didn't bring just our leader here. Now I understand. You're giving us all the information and letting us choose what to do from here. You aren't here to stop us. Exactly. One more thing. Well, this isn't going to affect whether or not I plan to help, but... You are also like Marie-san? A resident of this side? The human mind contains more than shadows. I believe you all witnessed that in your last battle. Are you talking about those things that came out of Namatame and Adachi-san? Well, they were different from the shadows we know about. It does not matter how you choose to interpret it. What you see and what you believe are up to you. I know that you can supply yourselves with answers. As I know that you have been capable of coming this far. One more thing. As I just said, the Hollow Forest was originally a closed realm. It is not the case now, but in time, this place will seal itself again. In other words, we can't come in and out of here forever? Exactly. It would seem that little time remains before the Hollow Forest completes itself. Once that time has passed, this place will be closed forever, and you will never be able to visit here again. If that happens, Marie's existence will be entirely expunged from your memories. Okay. We'll lose our memories? Hey, what the hell are you talking about? Oh, she's just gonna up and vanish from our heads? Um. It is exactly as I said. The closing of this forest marks the fact of Marie's erasure. Any memories you have of Marie will disappear and you will return to your peaceful days. No! This doesn't make sense! I merely have come to fulfill my promise. What you do is up to you. I have made a link from the television in the mountain cabin to this world. That is the only conduit through which you may reach this place. Huh? So we can't get here through the TV and Juness? Exactly. This world and your world's screens are linked, place to place. It is a fact. Hmm... I can't smell the other places from here. It really isn't connected. Yep. Cool. I am repeating cool. myself, but it was Marie who shut herself in this world. There is no need for you to think that you must risk your lives for her. I am sure she would not wish that either. Please, treasure the normal lives you have. That is what Marie would want. Now, if you would excuse me. Hey, hey wait! Uh, please? It's a TV. The same type as the one in the cabin. This must be the exit, like the ones Teddy has. So now what? What else? That Marie chick is in here, right? If she's in danger of being attacked by shadows, then we've got to get in there and find her. Hold on. It might not be that simple. Let us leave for now, at any rate. We cannot blindly run ahead so suddenly. Yeah. Plus, we're totally not prepared, right? If we're gonna do it, let's get ready and take this on full force! Pushing me. Shut it. Oh, There's eight of us, and it's a tiny frickin' TV. Exactly. Oh, I dented my head in. Anybody want to touch it? Tell you that's not so bad. Uh, no. What are you guys clowning around for? Come on, get up. We got a meeting to hold. We do? What are we gonna talk about? Oh, I don't know. But we always have one, right? <laughs> I guess she just wanted to be the one to say it. Yeah, it would really mess with my head if Chia-senpai was coming up with good plans. Shut up! That's 
it's rude, you know. Kind of is. Yeah. Come on. Still, that was a surprise. You know that whole Marie being from the other side thing? Wait. So the TV world is the world of the human mind, huh? It's not really sinking in, though. I couldn't even tell. Well, that wasn't a chance to explain. <laughs> no one's complaining, man. If you tried introducing her like, oh, she's from another world, the question mark above my head could be seen from orbit. Do this to herself. <laughs> well. Thought of something. If the world she's in closes, she'll disappear from our memories, right? Exactly. I don't know, but it just feels that way to me. It's like she's in the process of confirmation. She wants to kill herself and make us forget about her? Which is so weird, why she would do that? She's erasing her own existence? Why? Like, as well as isn't there. I think Emmy-chan's like me. I was really worried when I couldn't figure out who I was. When I finally found out I was a shadow, it was traumatizing. I don't think Emi-chan's a shadow, but I think she feels the same way I did. That she shouldn't exist. Teddy has best understanding. Teddy. Otherwise, man. Well... Yeah, they were like this. Yeah, I think that too. I can kind of understand how she feels. Not having anyone know the real you, being alone all the time. Even when someone's friendly to you, you feel like there's something wrong. If I didn't meet all of you, I might have thought the same as her. Same shit with me. I was always being misunderstood, so I toughened up and started biting back. I was scared that no one would accept the real me if I ever showed it to them. In the end, I couldn't even admit it when I was showing myself. <laughs> Pointless. Yeah, we're all like that. Everybody's suffering in some way. Yes, but we were able to change. No matter how much we hated ourselves, we were able to face it and accept it. Because we had dear friends. Yeah, I know now. There's nothing to be afraid of. We're the only ones that can save Marie-chan. If she's really thinking the same way we were, we have to go stop her. That's that, then. We should find out exactly what we're getting into first. It's better to know anything than to go in knowing nothing. It'll at least make things easier on us. Look. We should devote a day to it. Teddy, Rise-san, can you scan that world? From the usual spot, of course. The rest of us should rest up to prepare for the exploration. If there are shadows in there, then we can't avoid fighting them. All right, let's do this! <laughs> oh, this takes me back. Even though it hasn't been that long since we finished the other stuff. Yeah! All right, it's super sniffy time together with Rise-chan. <laughs> My super ultra mega hyper uber teddy nose can pick up even the slightest scent. But this skill is not without its drawbacks. After three minutes, I get just an ungodly amount of snot. Hey. Ew! Hey. hey, don't damage the bear before showtime. At least he's actually useful in a fight. Yes. How rude! What do you mean, at least? Even though, you know, this persona has a rock to shove up its ass. Let's regroup at school, okay? Mm. And there's nothing else to grasp. We, we, we just gotta get at it and do the thing. It's cold. Oh well, let's start the meeting. First, allow me to report. Just in case, I've checked for missing people in the local jurisdiction to see if anyone may have wandered in there. Zero results. There are no missing person requests either. It seems that this place really doesn't have anything to do with our previous case. 
Hey, no fair! You said to rest, and yet you went and did research. But I went and checked the newspaper, too. I looked for any news of missing people, but there wasn't any. I also tried asking our suppliers and customers if there was anything going on, but there aren't any rumors. Ditto. I asked around at work, but didn't come up with anything. You can't underestimate the housewife network. <laughs> yeah, I tried talking with some former punks, but didn't get Jack. Considering that none of us could find evidence, perhaps it's safe to say that no one has wandered in accidentally. But more important is whatever Teddy and Risei-san found. How did your search go? I can feel that hollow forest really far away, but that's it. I couldn't sense Emi-chan's presence at all. That place, it's big. I'm glad we didn't just jump in there without making sure we were ready for it. The hollow forest, huh? Is that place also affected by the mind of the person inside? If that's the case, then did Marie-chan make that area? Hollow forest. We heard that phrase before. In the last battle, right? I was wondering the same thing. Amano Sagiri mentioned it. The place that gave birth to those who answer the desires and wishes for lies of humans. Was that it? Hold on. Are you saying that the image in Marichan's mind is the same forest that created that monster? What's going on here? The hell? Who is she exactly? Our objective is to save her, but it doesn't seem like things will end there. If she is related to those monsters, then we need to do more research. What is she trying to do? Who is she really? It seems we have no choice but to go see her and find the truth directly from her. We'll find her. Yeah, let's do it! Whoever she is, we're not letting her die like this. That's right! I'm burning up! <laughs> right, let's do it. We don't know what she's bummed about, but we'll save her. Wait a sec! If I come and save Emichan, that's like an arrow straight through the heart, right? What should I do? I'm not ready for this. Dude, I can't tell if you're being a creeper or not. Oh, let's go. TV. Let's go, Sensei. of winter in the June of spring. Yeah. 